Definitely do have a chance. Welcome to South Florida. Yeah. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida. When you when you when you on the field, is it pregame? Like, is it ever? You ever? Are you ever afraid? Does you ever feel fear, or do you ever feel pressure? Nervous, nervous. You ever feel pressure? Not one bit. No, no, none of that. No. Who, who's your who, who's who's been your tough defender? Like, who's guarded you the tough? Yeah, who's the tough person? I don't see nobody. I knew nobody. He was gonna give it the damn hood. I'm a playmaker. I just I, I love receiving. I love to catch the ball. I love to go over people's head. Yeah. You know I mean? So I just gotta do what I do. University of Miami. They land you, and then they land the number one. We call them football player, number one player in the nation, James Williams. Yeah. Both playing the same position, right? How do you envision that working? Are they telling you how this gonna work? Or uh, well, I feel like me and James two different safeties. Uh huh. And I'm more of the ball hogging safety. He's more of the Rangey playing like you playing say like in the box, but like a striker position, strong safety. Right. And I'm more of the free safety. So I already know in practice that's gonna just build great competition. And when the game comes, it's up. gonna be easy. That's what's up. I know we go hand in hand because it's like like we're the same person. Right. So he has like his strengths and weaknesses, and I have my strengths and weaknesses. And we're gonna just he can feed off of me, learn how to I guess be more of the free safety, and then I can learn off of him be more of like a I'm close to the closer to the box safety, right. so I feel like we're just gonna make each other better. Yeah, James. James um played free safety. He wanted to play free safety. He he was big on that. But James don't never be back at free safety. James be <laughs> James be closer to the line. This linebacker sometimes. Or if this person like doesn't take that step or certain certain things, it just I feel like you beat your man every play. Right. And you got the best chance to stop any team or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Six twelve, two hundred and seventy-six pounds. After that, I just started going crazy. Tackles after tackles. Yeah, the first play was like a tackle for loss, for like yeah. six. Yeah. Oh, they didn't touch you, like. <laughs> yeah, like they did. Explain to me, though. Like, what what is that about? Like, how do they not? You six five, three hundred pounds. Is it something? Is a swim move? Is something you do? Like they don't see you? You yeah. teleporting? What's I'm going fast. on? I'm too fast for all long. They don't realize you that yeah. fast when the game starts. Like I'm gonna be the best player on the field. Like I just gotta show the world. Like I'm the true fifty. I'm the next fifty six. Up the next. I'm gonna just go crazy this year. Like show people like wow, we're fifty six. Like show show them like I want to take care of my mom. I want to put in a big house, stupid cars, big pool in the backyard. Put on for my brothers. My nieces and nephews, like coaches, I think all of them boys for like having me here at this like position that I'm in now. Cause like it's a hard work and dedication without all of them to guide me in the right path. I wouldn't be here today. So I think all of them for like helping me out. Like, yeah.
<clears throat> what's good? What's good? What's good? We're gonna start this thing off with um first and foremost football villain chat. So only the football villains can come until we get this thing to seventy percent likes. Shout out to Rich Man. That's his idea. He came up with. And I think it's awesome. Free stuff. So till we get to the seventy percent likes, only football villains can come in. Listen, man. Let me jump in here. I know y'all can't see my pretty face. Bam. All right, man, anything, man, I'm D. We're about to talk about everything from Bitcoin to ball. Uh, shout out to the villains. Shout out to the IOD squad. Um, we want to get involved with IOD squad, 786-405-9499. The number's scrolling at the bottom. Um, 786-405-9499. The number's scrolling at the bottom. Or the link is already in the comment section. Bam. So listen, if you can't comment, it's because you're not a football villain. You're not a member. You're not a part of uh, uh, the football villain society. Um, so once we get to 70%, we will open it up for everybody to comment. Let's see. Let's go back here. If you look in the comment section, throughout the show, IOD Squad YouTube will be dropping price points to buy certain stocks. Something we added. Something new. Something. Man, to be honest with you, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> There's too much going on. There's too much going on. I don't even I don't know what to I don't I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. Um it's a lot going on. But we're gonna get this thing going. First and foremost, I get it out of the way. I think Deshaun watching is back practicing again. I think he's 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 uh ready to go. Um I think he's back practicing again. I'm gonna bring my boy, I got my boy KD, KB in the back. I'm gonna bring him in here. I think Deshaun Watson is back at practice. See, Deshaun Watson returned to Browns practice for the first time since 11. It's 11 game suspension. Get that out of the way. Gilbert Fireson jumps in the portal yesterday. Um, we have a long list. Um, we had a list we came up with for the football villains, and we posted the football villain um, section, the member section. I'm going to come remember. You just hit join at the bottom. Um, now we have a longer list. As the show go on, I actually put that in the section. Um, I actually post that up, um, and it's not the list. They're not adding Gil Gilbert was already on the longer list. One section. I know it's a big week and it is all kind of stuff going on right now. KB. Oh man, KB showing you KB KB showing y'all his face today, dog. Yeah, what's going on, bro? He ain't just a he ain't just a talking circle today. <laughs> what's good, man? Chilling, bro. Um not going on. Uh yesterday Gilbert Fries and jumps in the portal the, the, yesterday also. Uh, it's being reported that Franklin walked off the field. Um, we were trying to, we were trying to, we were trying to get the news out there that Dabo may be going in for saving, right? Mm -hmm. Eventually, Dabo may, eventually Dabo may be saving. Uh, eventually, Dabo may be saving successor. And we were seeing if we can get that news out there, and. We got crazy shit going on in our own camp. We ain't worried about our own house. Worry about somebody else's house. <laughs> we ain't worried about our own house. Worry about somebody else's house. Yeah, it's a mess, man. It's a mess, bro. The Gibble the Gibble Firesen thing, um, 
I reached out to him and just, just told him, man, good luck. Sometimes you got to do what's best for you. Um, because it's two years in a row with Gilbert Fireson, right? At Gilbert Fireson. Yep. Um, what yep. happened last year? Uh, last year, Manny Diaz with his whole seniority and I like this guy and I like that guy. He takes Amari Carter. It takes him from safety and moves him down to striker. Inexplicably gives him Gil start job. The guy who graded out as one of our highest defenders the year before. Um, and as we can see, that did nothing for the defense and it did nothing for Gil. Um, from what we remember, he was supposed to be rumored to be – well, rumors started flying about him transferring. Um, and he just all of a sudden got the first NIL deal. And I was like, oh, okay, they know Gil's value, Gil's, uh, value to the yeah, team. Right. So, mm-hmm. right. So I thought that was a good sign. And come out first game, Gil is out there getting his pick sixes. And after that, I don't know, bro. Like you say, two years in a row, man. Yeah, he put on a lot of weight, uh, which had me, which had us believing that he was going to play linebacker. He got a lot bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I guess it was a little bit of linebacker star, whatever they're calling it. Um, made some plays in the spring game, had a pick six versus Bethune, and then disappeared. Mm-hmm. Sorry to Kenneth Smith becoming a member. Um, we're trying to get to 70% likes on those like buttons. Then we'll open up the chat to everybody. So get the like to 70%. Um, where we at right now? Uh, 134 watching. We got 40 likes. Oh, man. We ain't even, we fall. But, yeah, then he disappeared, bro. And, and like I said, um, everything doesn't get out. You don't always know everything that's going on behind the scenes with these, with these things. But, yeah, he disappeared. And he stayed positive. Uh, if y'all watching on Twitter and Facebook, y'all eventually gonna have to come to YouTube. But he stayed positive. Uh, we saw him rallying the troops in what game that was they were losing. Oh, yeah, what what game was that? Who's getting our ass beat, too? Was that the middle Tennessee game? Middle Tennessee, yeah, we saw right. He stayed positive. We saw him rallying the troops, and then, um, I guess it just got too much for him. Um, he jumped in the portal yesterday because I think December 5th is the is the time and they could basically the deadline. Well, not the deadline, probably the first day, probably, huh? They can actually be mm-hmm. in the portal. I find that weird. Like I said, um, just the timing of it is weird for me because it's just like it's two games. And I say this every time somebody jumps in the portal for us. It's X amount of games left. Why not just finish out the season? Um I don't know. December fifth, if that's the start of the um, you say that's the start, or is that a like a deadline? I think that's the start. I think that that's when they can actually be in the portal. Let's look mm-hmm. it up. Let's see. The deadline for fall and winter sports is May first every year. The deadline for spring is July first every year. If the student athlete. Blah, blah, blah. It's not what I want to see. Let's see. I don't think yeah, unless it's like uh-huh. a, a, unless it's like I say unless it's like a deadline that you have to like enter before you can participate in spring or something like that. It doesn't really. Right. I don't understand that. I don't get it. The deadlines. Yeah, May 1st, July. But yeah, I think this is this is what they added when they added. May 1st has come and gone, meaning that student athletes who opt to enter the NCAA transfer portal will be ineligible. To compete next season, barring a waiver being granted, here's a brief rundown. The NCAA transfer portal into existence in October 2018. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see. We don't care about swimming. (laughs) 
But yeah, it's 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 let's see, January eighteenth. Okay, so here we go. The first begins the day after championship selections are made, December 5th, and runs through. Okay, so players who haven't transferred previously will be immediately eligible if they provide a written request to their school to enter the transfer portal with the two transfer windows. The first begins the day after championship selections are made, December 5th, runs through the next 45 days, January 18th. Accommodation will be made for players in championship games. Second transfer window is April 15th through the 30th. So they have transfer windows. They have to get in. Players who have a transfer would be immediately eligible to be immediately eligible. You say immediately eligible? Well, I guess it's the end of the season anyway, huh? I guess. Um... Lewis Johnson said, I don't see what they see. Uh, shout out to Kenneth Smith for coming to member, man. I ain't said it already. Lewis Johnson said, I don't see what they see in Couch's play compared to Gilbert play. Two different positions, though, right? They don't play the same position. Uh, like still say, you can't just plug and play. <laughs> Have you want to plug and play? They're two different positions. Right. Gil can't Gil can't play full-time linebacker. That's the difference. Cam Trey's a full-time linebacker. Now he is. So Gil can't play full-time linebacker. Right. I think Gil is more like what Blades is out there doing, right? Yeah, basically, which I don't understand why he can't get in, but Blades can, but whatever. Right, right, right. Um, so yeah, y'all just getting in here, man. 70% likes we're trying to get to, and we'll open up the chat for everybody. Um, I don't even know if the football villains want the chat open up for everybody. They probably don't be hitting the like button just cause. That's what y'all be doing, dog. Cause we ain't nowhere. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't close to 70% like. The day Mario was asked about um, parents going off on Twitter, right? Um, and Mario said he was raised different. And basically said, uh, if, you're mad, if you're mad at your child's playing time, come pick them up. Come pick up your son. No, I didn't hear that one. <laughs> straight up, fool. Listen, listen straight up. If you, if you mad, if you mad, come get a little Timmy, dog. We ain't got time. That's straight up what he said. I'll play it for you. That's straight up what he said. Um, let me see. I like it. Got no problem with it. I mean, like I say, coaches ain't always right. And I, I, I side with the kids a lot. But at the end of the day, parents, y'all need to be quiet. Just sit back and be quiet. Um, I think it's important to teach our, our own children to handle stuff like uh, adults in a face-to-face -face manner. Um, as, a, as it relates to posting on social media, I don't. I was raised very different than anything that would relate to anything such as that. But uh, a parent is very uh, free and welcome to come pick up their son if they're not happy with uh, their playing time here at the University of Miami. And I guess that's my philosophy. Yeah, I like I that. Yeah, I like, you like that, Kyle? Yeah, I think we need. Like, uh, we probably got to get a t shirt made. Uh, <laughs> we probably got to get a t shirt <laughs> made. What, what, what was the quote? Come pick up, let me. Have you ever have you ever heard any coach say that? Y'all like that in the conversation? Y'all y'all like that? Have you ever heard a coach say that before other than that at, at Miami Gardens Ravens Park? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Um. Wow. Come get your jit. How about that? <laughs> Don't go to Twitter. Go to ninety five. Come get your jit. How about that? Mm -hmm. That's that's basically what Mario said. We need space anyway. 
Uh, that's basically what he said. <laughs> come, come scoop your shit. Don't go to Twitter. Go to 95. Go to Uber. Come get your jit. Straight up. Um, no, I, I mean, it's... Basically, I mean, that's him. That's him setting his. Listen, man, he's just getting here. Sometimes you gotta set the tone, I guess. Um, and I said that, like, sometimes you gotta you gotta come in firm, set the tone. Certain things you're not gonna tolerate. Um, Keyshawn Smith been yep. gone missing ever since his mama said something. Oof. You you only get one. And that one was with Avante. He told Avante, hey, you know, that's not how we handle things. You're going to do it this way. Boom, 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 boom. So everybody should have caught on from there. And it seemed like the kids did, but the parents didn't. I ain't heard one <laughs> kid not say nothing. I, I forgot about the Avante thing. Uh, I forgot about the Avante thing. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, he told them early on, this is not how we're going to handle it. We're not running the social media. We're not doing that. But. <clears throat> right. <laughs> and then shortly after that, somebody named Lil Bo went to Twitter. <laughs> and went down and went in. Who is, who is that anyway? I saw that. I was like, man, I got off of that page real quick. Lil Bo. Yeah, who is he? Yeah, he was mad at Kevin Smith. I don't know. Um, talking that about was too much lives, of attention for me. I bet mm-hmm. you ain't know Kevin. Oh, oh, that was kind of hardcore, huh? Wow. If, if if you go down this page, you just see a whole bunch of I guess what they call messy. Like it's just too much ranting and stuff, dog. Like that nah. It wasn't yeah, all too, about you know hood. UM, but just that's look. Yeah, just but right. just looking at the page itself, it wasn't about UM, but it was just like no. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's too much. Kevin Smith, you a bitch. You always gonna be a bitch. Whoa, wow. There's <laughs> a lot going on, and that was that was right after that was that was right after Mario said what he said. Somebody else still went to Twitter and they come get their jit. But then they eventually took they took that down. Um big week for the Canes, though. There's a lot going on, bro. Um <laughs> some of that stab burner account. Um so it's a lot going on. Let me see. Yeah, that was rough. I didn't even want to read that, KB. <laughs> that was a big much. Yeah, oh, that, that, that whole page was a little bit too zesty for me, bro. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> the page still there? Um, yeah, that's zesty. somebody's personal page. Man. He said zesty. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> He said zesty. That's somebody burn account. So all that going on why Miami has to try to get ready for the number two team in the nation as a 19 point underdog. Right, 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 right. I was just getting ready to place my bet too, and all this stuff started coming out. I'm just like, wait a minute. Come on, man. You He's scared that dog? No, nah, I ain't scared. I was I'm just saying it's just ironic. I was getting ready to do that. And I'm just like, bro, we just can't have a good week, can we? A bunch of noise, man. Um, we got 199 watching. We got 86. So we're trying to get to 70% on the chat. Um, and then we'll open it up. Um, but if y'all don't want it, I can't want it better than y'all want it. Okay? I I can't want the chat to open up. Worse than y'all want the chat to open up. And you crying about the villains being the only ones to be able to chat and come get your jit. Come get your jit. If you if you complain <laughs> about the amount of amount of things you're able to post in this chat, come get your jit. <laughs> no, that's a better shirt. Come get your jit. Come get your jit, man. You got time for that. Um 
think Gabby also Gabby also reported that Dad walked out of practice yesterday, <laughs> and then he had some choice words. I don't know, man. With, with everything going on in the climate of football, what just happened? What that was just yesterday, right? Yep. What yesterday, happened at BA? That, was, that was that was just yesterday, right? Yeah, man. Just I think yesterday. you gotta kind of be be a little careful. Um. <laughs> yeah, because it's obviously yeah, these kids. I think about that. Yeah, it's obviously these kids under a lot of pressure. Um, it's obviously they're under a lot of pressure, and for a lot of things. I mean, they they are a lot of them out there on their own. Um, we want to call them adults. I mean, but shit, they not. I mean, they they ain't have they ain't have like figured out at nineteen, eighteen at all. Mm-hmm. I'm not calling them adults. Uh, I'm not calling them young men. They kids, man. Right. Mario said yesterday he didn't use the word kids in a long time. Mm-hmm. They kids. Yeah, it's, it's it. So yeah, and I know with the fandom it's the, with the fandom thing attached to it, man, people get a little crazy with the kids. And Like Rosier said the other week when they were talking about how people used to inbox them crazy stuff. Um, and you're talking about like, just, just all you got to do is put your 19-year-old in it. Since you, you know what I'm saying? Just put your 19-year-old there. Put your 20-year-old there. You call them a dope? You tell them to suck it up? All right. And Brevin said it. Brevin said, man, we were just kids, man. We had death threats, man. Y'all threatening kids? You can threaten to kill kids. Threatening the kids, though, because they lost a game. If I ain't tell you to put your $50 on that parlay, you probably had two more teams you needed to win. <laughs> 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 you know, and you mad. You know what I'm saying? Nobody didn't tell you. Yeah, hey. And, and, and some, something, something, um, something interested that was said, interesting that was said, and I didn't understand this, um, until probably maybe a week or two ago when everybody be, you know, you threatening the kids, calling them trash, and y'all – and Brevin was like, man, how y'all think we feel? Like, we out there fighting for this team, and, you know, we losing or whatever. And and it was something you said before. You was like, how y'all think Mario feels? And you was like, how you think said, you yeah. yourself – like, I, uh-huh. you, you were saying, how you think I feel? Don't, I got to cover this team, and yada, yada, yada. Than, and, don't nobody feel worse right, than Mario true. Than I said. But it's true, and, I, and I, didn't, I didn't understand it until – yeah, I, I didn't even understand it until maybe a couple of weeks ago, I think, or a game or two ago, and I was just like, man, I got to get up and get on this goddamn string with Streeter and cover this shit. Man, I don't feel like doing this, but you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like now I understand it. Like these dudes have to wear that on their shirt, bro. They have to wear that. You know, like we, they can't just go in the hiding or chilling or whatever. They have to wear that, dog. And they have to handle it appropriately, man. So what we think is fans, uh, it's way worse on them, man. They just can't show it. You playing like you mad. They they yeah, they actually gotta, yeah, they 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 was out there working hard and it, it went wrong for them. And you playing mad. Nah, bro, real deal. When I said that, people ain't really people weren't really feeling that when I said that. Right, because oh, they don't first understand thing, it. Yeah, first thing they go through is money. Oh man, he rich. <laughs> the first thing they go through. <laughs> oh, oh man, he rich. He rich, man. He, 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 he taking out for him. He getting paid eight million dollars. Nah, it's mm-hmm. it, it ain't even about that, man. It's it's. Oh, that mercy, bro. Like I gotta say, because I ain't even understand it. I was just like, huh? Then you kind of think about it and you start really having to go to it, and you just be like, man, yeah, now nah, 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 I get it. Because he got to go up there and get in that press conference and yada, yada, yada. So don't, don't say he don't care or say his money got him not caring or whatever. It ain't like that. Right. I told my little story. I ain't telling it no more, but when, when, it, when it happened to me, <laughs> And somebody said to me one time, like, man, nobody don't feel worse than you. 
I snapped right out of it because it wasn't. It was. It was the truth. Let's see. Chris talking about fans are weird. Chris, you be weird sometimes too, dog. <laughs> So if you're on Facebook or Twitter, yeah, I'll come on over to YouTube. I'll be doing that just to put the alert out there. Let's see what we have on these likes, man. We got 200 watching. Shout out to Sean Rounds with the 1999. Oh, we're about at 90% on the likes. We trying to get there. We getting there. Shout out to Sean Rounds. In 1999. Let me see. Muhammad Ali once said, let's say Muhammad Ali once said, go to sleep at 9 p.m. at night and all your problems will be solved. In other words, cut out all the distractions <laughs> in order to be great. Bitch with that Clemson, that Clemson degree. You sure Muhammad Ali said that, Rich? Let me see. Kids don't want to work for no more these days. Think everything should be handed to them on a silver platter. Um, um, some kids. I mean, these kids. I mean, we say that our dads, our parents said the same thing about us, and we thought that was weird. <laughs> man, I used to walk. Y'all, them crazy story, man. We used to walk sixteen miles to school. And then got busted another school. All them weird stories, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, thought they was weird, so we you can't be you can't be saying the same thing about this generation. Some of them, some of them hard workers. Some of them, some of them is our fault because we call ourselves giving them a better life, and then what we did was took away all the trials and tribulations that we endured as kids. That made us tougher. We took that away from a lot of our kids and give them a better life. Okay, now you can't scream at them. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I cried. Yeah, that's hundred percent true, right now. <laughs> yeah, we we made them. I don't like using the word softer, but we definitely made them different. Like we, yeah, we we wanted them to have a different life. We we were like diamonds. Like we had to get it out of the mud. Like we want a better life for our kids. Ain't that what we say? Yeah, everybody, you gotta you gotta understand balance. It's a, I don't want my kids going to sleep hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like I did, but at the same time, I can have food in there provided for them. But they gotta learn how to cook. They got, you know what I'm saying? You can't just because that's your thought process. My child ain't never gonna go hungry. I'm not finna get up at eleven o'clock at night <laughs> and start fixing food for my son. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, right. bro, you better go in and make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was done unconsciously. I don't even know if we tried to do it. I think we just wanted better for our children. And, yeah, and I don't think we realized what the hood did for a lot of us. Like, it kind of made you resilient, bro. Like, it kind of... Yeah, it kind of yeah, it it, it kind of made you be able to deal with issues, and not saying anybody want to grow up like that. Like 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 Kyle said, I'm not advocating for anybody kid <laughs> to not eat. I'm just saying we survived it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, everything is balanced, man. You got to navigate your way through everything, but. You know, it's, it's, there's a lesson in life every single day. And you can't protect your kids from those lessons and stuff. So when you're going out to the school, I'm not saying this to anybody, but we've seen it. When you're going out to the school and fussing and going back and forth with teachers, when you're going to the park, fussing and forth back with coaches, you know, your kids get used to that. Your kids get used to you always, somebody always picking up their mess or taking up for them and stuff, and they don't know how to handle it. So now they get in a situation where daddy can't help them. The only thing daddy can do is tweet. And that ain't going to make the situation worse. 
Let me see that can do a tweet. Mario said, come get your jet. Straight up. <laughs> That's the shirt. That's the shirt. <laughs> Mario said, come get your jet. Mario said, come get That's your jet. That's the shirt. Wait, um, say Cheney back. Um, let's say Cheney back. Part of uh part of that in part of that frustration was that Cheney came back in and basically like uh assume this the number two back, number you know what I'm saying? I think Paris is hurt in the concussion protocol. Paris had a concussion, I'm not sure if he's healthy. Um Cheney kind of came back and jumped him. We didn't really expect much out of Cheney. Could we could he could he possibly be healthy and ready to go though? Oh, yeah, that's that's like two that's like two injuries, right? That's like one injury. Then he got on the field for a second, and another injury. He ain't played in a long time. Mm -hmm. Could he get carried I mean, this it, weekend? It, 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 could, it could happen. Um, I probably yeah. wouldn't do. But I, it, I don't know. It could happen. I mean, we saw it happen with Adrian Peterson. Man, we've seen guys do some amazing rehab, and sometimes you do want to get guys feet wet and get them comfortable. So you got to look at it from two ways. If I feel he's healthy. Oh, he's going to be available and he's going to play because I need him to get his feet wet and start getting over that mental hurdle. I need him to start on that now so he'll be ready for the spring, you know what I'm saying, the next year. But that's if he's 100% go. You know what I mean? So as long as it's like that, I might see him get a, you know, a little carry or two just, just, to, you know, just to get his feet wet. But in Thad's mind, he's got to be thinking, or he should be thinking that, man, there's no way this dude, finna, they're not going to give him, you know, 10 carries or nothing like that. So, all right, I'm going I'm to make sure these carries go to me the best way I can or whatever. Because I don't care if they put them back in the rotation. They ain't going to put them back in there for no 10 to 15 carries. Not, not I don't think. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I, it's, I'm like, damn, man, could he, could he get in there and actually – <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's been, he been sitting for a minute now. It, it's gonna, it'll be good to see him back out there, bro. Last week's game was played with only two scholarship starters. Um, freshman quarterback. And y'all wonder why the offense looked like 6U Pee Wee. Let's see. Let <clears throat> me answer some of these questions in the comment section. I ain't been neglecting these people. So we still only feel only villain chat. How many likes we got? 226, 133. We're still sitting at about 90. Um, only the football villains can send messages in comment section. If we once we get up to 70% likes, football villains, man. Y'all not hitting the like button, dog. Once we get up to once we get up to 70% likes, man, we'll open up the chat for everybody. So just hit the like button for us. Uh if you just getting here, there's Sean Watson on his way back. Coach Mario say, if you don't like a kid playing time, come get your jet. His, uh, Thad walked out of practice a day ago. Um, Gilbert Fires and jumped in the transfer portal. We're seeing to be old news how we woke up this morning. And that happened yesterday. And Miami, a 19-point underdog, headed into Clemson. And somebody named Tebow, j -Bo. Somebody, somebody named J Bo went ham on Kevin Smith. Lobo, somebody named Lobo went ham on Kevin Smith on Twitter. Right after Mario said, Come get your jit. I think that's, I think that is, that's, uh, that's 70% right though, I think. Uh oh. Y'all doing a good what, job. What high school you went to, dog? 
Okay, that was a D8. 149. With 220 and 149. Hey, Siri. <laughs> hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. What's 70% of 220? They five, they five off. You was close, dog. They three away. You was close. They need two more. So yeah, we just trying to keep mm-hmm. trying to keep the likes up, man. Trying to motivate y'all to keep the likes up. Instead of keep saying hit the like button every goddamn second. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me let me let me go put my like on here. I got a like on the computer I can use. <laughs> I think the villain just be sitting in there watching. They don't be want nobody in the chat. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know what? I'm not gonna even I'm gonna keep my like. I'm gonna make I'm gonna let y'all do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get my like at the end of the show. I think they be sitting there just watching. They don't be want nobody in there with them. <laughs> Boy, be Bogart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here come the riff rap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get my light in now. <laughs> here come the riff rap. That Everybody works, coming to come and sing that, huh? And you got like twenty. You got like twenty likes in the last four five minutes talking about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it did, bro. That was rich idea, dog. Rich came up with that. So yeah, man. If y'all just getting here, man. It's been a long week, and we just made it to what Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> and dog, like we we call ourselves trying to put it out there that Dabo Dabo goes secretly and spins. Days with Saban. So people think that Saban is grooming Dabo to be the next guy. We're going to put that out there. Um, you know, we can call some interference. <laughs> and our own house ain't you know going. what happened? We shouldn't, have, we shouldn't have said none of that stuff in front of Rich. I think Rich went back and told Clemson. Clemson. <laughs> and Clemson called him. Clemson called them guys, asked them if they wanted to transfer and stuff. Now we got all this going on. Rich, where you at, dog? Get in here. Rich is fly. <laughs> Rich was in here the other night. If y'all didn't see Rich was here the other night with his Clemson hat on. Rich graduated with a bachelor's <laughs> degree from Clemson. And deep down inside, his hard pump. Pause, whatever the Clemson was. Tiger pause. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He's down the side. Mm-hmm. He, he orange tiger and purple, blood. not orange and green. Yeah. Yeah, that tiger blood in him. Mm-hmm. She was in here beating his chest about Clemson's come up. Clemson said, yeah, y'all used to call it Clemson. What you call it now? Clemson and then what they used to call it Clemson and then? Clemson and what you call it now? Nah, but this is this too much. This this is too much coming off a of win and going into the biggest game of the season as far as um opponent wise. Um yeah, it's just too much to be going on right now. We shouldn't be <clears throat> I think that sometimes, besides I'm gonna say Gil, sometimes that speaks to some of these guys as individuals. Not that Listen, I'm mm-hmm. I'm not for selling everything you have for the betterment of the team. I'm not, bro, because I see the business aspect of this. But at the same time, time and place, and you have to look at this. Like, why this week? This is not the time to be doing this. You know what I mean? You you try to get in with the flow. Try to get in with the good side, with the coaches' smiles and stuff, and start thinking, okay, well, let me evaluate. How am I going to improve? What are we going to do? Yada, 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 yada. Um, like, what's the point of doing it now? You know, there's no, that's why, you know, a lot of this stuff be emotional. There's no, uh, there's no rhyme or reason right now. You know what I'm saying? You can, it's two games left. If I'm going to make some noise, mm-hmm. I would have did this earlier in the season. I would have been done did this. I'm not going to do it right now. Two games left. Let's evaluate. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's have a conversation. Let me sit down with the coach. Uh, maybe my parents, we can sit down with the coach and we can figure out what's going on. That goes for Thad. That goes for um, uh, Kamari. Um, I don't know what K5 situation is as far as communication, but these things, you know, need to happen at the right time. The season is almost over, so we could have waited to the end of the season to sit down and have real conversation and figure out, right. hey, do you guys want me here or 
am I not doing this right? Like, how do I, you know, let's get some eye to eye. Now, if you can't get that conversation, okay, I know why I stand. But there's time and place for everything, and they, they should have waited. You said they should have waited? They should have waited, not just for the team, but for themselves. Like, right now is just not the time. I think – I think it'd be, I think it, I think it's just sitting around and people ignoring you. Nobody's talking to you. You ain't getting no coaching. So they're like, it goes all the way back. It goes kind of back to when kids decommit from colleges and y'all get mad at the kid. But nobody ever says that the school stopped calling the kid. Mm-hmm. You know that's why kids decommit a lot of time, right? School stop calling yep. the kid. School just ignore the kid's phone call. Cause the school don't want to be a part of the bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So a lot of times that's why kids can de- that's why kids decommit. They help them save face. They say you go ahead right. and decommit. We're not gonna take you in. So they help them save face. Yeah, and they don't have gotta say it it don't gotta be on their face on, on the school face. Um, so I think a lot of that probably going on, like, yeah, kids may getting feeling like, oh man, I'm being neglected. So like you say, they make an emotional decision. Um, and I, I don't know, the transfer portal is a slippery slope, bro. I mean, these relationships these kids have during recruitment, these kids got to start keeping these relationships. With these coaches, um, yeah, because you look at um, look at the boy that um, look at the boy that we lost. Uh, we was recruiting that went to Penn State, who ended up being his coach at Penn State, Manny. But you don't know where you're gonna end up, <laughs> what what bridge right. you're gonna cross. And I'm not saying that they had bad blood, but I'm just saying, just what if it was bad blood? You know what I'm saying? Um, you have no idea who you're gonna have to cross back over so this is why I always say I say y'all hear me say this all the time and I'm not just laying it up on them or saying nobody else can't do it but this is why fathers are important look at all of us sitting here discussing this you know what I'm saying we we, we are the ones that if we have kids or whatever we should be able to all these things that we're discussing we should be able to do it with our kids you know care for our kids in the proper way and understand what's going on and help them to understand it but you got a lot of um not very um, emotionally stable parents out here. You got a lot of single mothers out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, there's a line between sports and the business of sports. And you got to help the kids navigate that. And a lot of these kids don't have the right people. Like, like Sap was saying, you got that uncle that just got out of jail telling you this and telling you that. And oh man, you, the, the, the kind of people that are in here right now is the kind of people you need because we we have the conversations and we've seen it. You know what I'm saying? And we know where to go or what not to do. And we've all just been there in life, bro. There's times you – it's certain times you go to your boss and talk to him about a raise, and there's certain times you don't. You know what I mean? Just just little things like that, bro. Right. No, I feel you. No, I feel you. Um, I feel you. The, the one thing I don't understand is I don't understand um, – <laughs> I don't understand the going off on Twitter and you miles and miles away and your son is is stuck there with them. Um, these football coaches, these programs have a lot of leverage over your child, man. They have a lot of leverage, uh, and that's they have a lot of leverage over your child, his future. Um, you going off on a rent from miles away. You better strategically try to figure out what your child is doing. I always go back to that 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 I always go back to that speech that um that the North Carolina point guard gave on his senior day when he said he called his mom, told her he wanted to transfer. I always go back to that. And she said, before you start looking at anybody else, we gotta ask ourselves, have we done everything in our power to make these coaches trust us? Um, and if you can't say yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got to do that first. 
basically what he said. And, and then see, I think he ended up being for three years. He was a star point guard. I forget his name. I just watched the video the other day. Yeah, you showed us the video. Yeah. Right. And it, yeah, you have to have somebody in your corner that's able to say that because when you, when you, it can't be like the girl circle. It can't be like you tripping and you're, all the girls doing is, you right, girl. Mm-hmm. What you going to do? Set his clothes on fire. Yep. Set him sits on fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, man, your circle can't be like that, dog. Like, your circle got to be, uh, you got to have a, a, a voice of, what's the word? A voice of reasoning in there somewhere. Somewhere. Right. And let, let, let me let me address two things um in the chat where they're saying, no, Chris, I wasn't saying be a handler. I wasn't saying us specifically, but I'm just saying there's a lot of fathers that are like us and they know better. So I want them to do better for their kids. You know what I'm saying? They they get in here and they talk football too. So you know what I'm saying, pass that along to their kids or whatever. But um no, E E one, I don't I don't, I don't know if I no, he was saying um yeah, no. When I was talking about us and you know people being here, being having uh, talking to talking to the kids and stuff, he was saying fans will label you as a handler when you try to beat up for their kids. I wasn't necessarily saying you know <laughs> it's true though. Wild, it's I'm true. just saying, just, right? Yeah. It's true though. It's true. Yeah. Well, um, no, I was the one to just what you want to say. Yeah, then you're good. <laughs> what do you want? But, yeah, uh, you're good. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, what E1 was saying, he was talking about getting in early in the portal. E1, it's 118 schools out there, bro. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be looking for competition. So I don't know about that getting in early stuff. I don't think that, could, because Streeter, you can speak to this. You can communicate with schools all year, not you personally, but there are ways. People are always communicating and talking. Am I wrong? Right. So your your, your former right. high school coach, your, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobody didn't say your mama, mm-hmm. your auntie, who they co- was calling when they was recruiting you. Nobody said she couldn't talk to them. Mm-hmm. So now nah, it ain't about getting in early and stuff, bro. You people go, people know who hitting the portal before they hit the portal. Like oh, you know, they get a hint of it. You know, think about um, the linebacker from Syracuse. We was looking at how did everybody know he was going to get in the portal. He didn't even get in. So you know, like, again, we have to make we have to make better decisions, um, more emotionally stable decisions. Decisions, right? Hmm. Let's see. They say answer kill. Huh? <laughs> no, they say answer kill. I want to answer kill. I want to see kill the voicemail right now. Hmm. I'm a pimp, dog. I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> hmm. But I, I think Street. I, I don't know if we how 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 if we can or how we can. Um, we need to take like th- this year and what's going on. We need to take these lessons and be able to uh, put them in a space somewhere where we can, well, I, I don't know, display them or show them or preach to them or like the incoming kids and parents need to see what's going on right now. Not just for you and but I mean, just, just period. Yeah, understand how period. you're going to handle things when you're trying, right. You're transitioning into something new. Y'all need to see the do's and don'ts and see where it gets you. Right. No, no, I, I get what you're saying. Um, I, I try to, I try to talk, dog, when I can. Like I try to talk, I try to teach, I try to inform them. Um, what you, what you thinking? You thinking something like what? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say a class, but we, we need to. I don't know. Maybe we could save it and just, you know, run a space for it or do. Uh, it's just something we need to be able to advertise and. Um, get out to people. I don't know how to harness it and repackage it back to the people, but I do think it's something. It's going to be some valuable lessons. It's already been some, but I think it's going to be some valuable lessons to to what's going on this season. No, I think a space. I think a space. Um, Wayne Smith said, "Kids sitting with a girl group right now." 
<laughs> what he said? Keena sitting with her girls group right now. Oh. Say, mm, girl, burn it, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, conversation silly, bro. Somebody told me some uh she need that. She caught somebody she need that food stamp card. I <laughs> see y'all boy silly, man. <laughs> Let me see. But uh yeah, street. Um I, I think it's oh go ahead. <clears throat> Y'all boys, wow. She need a food stamp card. Pimp down. That man act like he was asleep. <laughs> Somebody ignoring their peace. <laughs> Answer the phone, Streeter. Y'all is wild, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Chris said she gonna jump in the comment section. You don't see me calling you? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's funny. But you know what's the one thing I always wanted? Um, and I, I've said this to some of the mothers I've spoken to. Um, but I would love for somebody, so let's say like Duke Mama, even though I know she's busy, she do her thing or whatever. But I would love for like mm -hmm. one of the okay, teen yeah. moms to <laughs> start. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> to start um to start some type of um team mom group or program or something like that that's gonna help like a, a welcome to the you program or something for the incoming moms so they can learn some of this stuff and understand and how to navigate uh when we're talking about agents and you know people who they can um right yeah you know, like pe people who they can go to like some some maybe like somebody they, should be able to say hey listen we got wait, wait, okay. Let me see. Maybe they're killing you in the comment section. Yeah, because they saw you calling me. They talking about you asking for the food stamp card. What else they said? You looking for the food stamp card? Uh, what? <laughs> Just text me, all right? Okay. All right. You see that? I run my house. I don't run around my house. I should say something <laughs> Um. But no, bro. I mean, I, I feel you. That could be a football field space. Yeah, we 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 need to do something like like with the whole agent thing, right? That's one of the big things, right? We uh -huh. need somebody to be able to like point at, like we can say, like the moms can say, "Hey, listen, when they start telling your kid this and this and this, you got a a a, a NFL basically draft." "Quote unquote guru or for former um GM or whatever sitting right there in the office. You want a proper evaluation of your son? You go to him and let him reach out to his contacts as opposed to sitting here listening to all these different ages telling you what they can and cannot do for you. You got somebody to evaluate your kid that's right there on staff. Like things like that. We need to be able to help these people navigate. You know what I'm saying? Or they can help each other navigate better. No, yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree. Um, the one that's willing to uh <laughs> no, I did. She was on the phone. The one that's willing to shut out the haze. Uh the ones that's willing to listen. Um, and the ones that's got time and willing to listen. It's a lot of people, man, they working two jobs, and that's the reason they don't know nothing. Um, but I'll definitely put it out there. Um, like what what would you want to? If y'all just getting in here, man, Deshaun Watson is back after 11 games, suspension. Uh, Gilbert Frierson in the transfer portal. Mario say come pick up your jit if you don't like he ain't playing. Mario say come get your jit. And Thad reportedly walked off of practice yesterday. And, and Gabby said that Miami is not going to tolerate culture killers. I wouldn't call that a culture killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we've seen kids leave the University of Miami and be successful. Sometimes people just need a, a different a different change of scenery. Yeah, it's just that it's, it's a way you do things. And because, because of the way people see things and put them out there, 
somebody may think you are a culture killer. And it's hard for you to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, my boy, um, my boy, Benny, uh, Benny Sapp, he, uh, when he got drafted, he got drafted lower than he was supposed to get drafted because he got in some trouble at Iowa. He, he really didn't even do nothing or whatever. He was trying to help out a situation, right? So he ended up finishing at Northern Iowa. And you know, this is the story I got. And he was going in there with these GMs. And they was like asking him all kind of crazy stuff. You know, basically they were looking at him like he was a bad like person. And it's just mm-hmm. these stories started to get out of control. And all a lot of it was just untrue stuff or whatever. You get labeled when things go wrong. So when you walk out of a practice, that don't look too tight when you're trying to go to a new school. So you may have a, you know, I'm just saying if that if that's the situation, right? Right. You may have a you may you may have an opportunity to go to a SMU or something like that, right? But you might have messed up the opportunity to go to Georgia. Like Georgia might have been like, oh yeah, I like that big kid, whatever. Boom, boom. They might have been looking at you for years. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever had recruited you at that time. But then when they hear that, it's like a mmm. So now I end up at an SMU when I could be playing for a championship, Georgia. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You said Benny Sapp. What position he played? He played corner. What you did well? Oh, this was back. You know, when I was. Uh, <laughs> he he played. He played with me. So this was like we we played together in '99. So this was you know we going we going back. This was when Brad Banks was at Iowa and all that good stuff. No, man. Um, I wanted to start doing other stuff on Footballville. No, not necessarily Caneville. We got a Caneville space tonight, man. That's probably going to be lit. Rosier going to come through and he's going to tell us the tragic story of Clemson beating the shit out of us <laughs> at Hard Rock and what actually happened. Uh, I've heard him tell it before. Interesting story. Jacory actually, Jacory actually whooped up on Clemson, huh? I don't remember that game. I only remember the CJ Spiller game. Mm-hmm. That probably back when Clemson won about shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jacory done went off. I don't remember that game. I know somebody in the comment section remember. They remember every goddamn thing. Um, but no, bro, too much going on this week. Started with the Virginia stuff, man. Um, X came up with a list of kids that may not be here. We put, gonna put in the football building. I'm gonna put that in there right now. Kids that may not be here. One or two that may be coming. And I was like, X, that list too long. Then today happened, Kyle. <laughs> 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 well, that's a good start. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't sleep on X, bro. That's our inside. I do not sleep on X information. <laughs> I definitely thought the list was too long, dog. Like, damn. Then that thing started getting popping. Oh, let's see. We got 300 in here, man. Make sure I hit the like button, share for us, man. If you ever thought about getting into investing or the stock market, I just wanted to learn the stock market, wanted to understand it. Uh, Anthony Mazzano. Damn, Anthony Mazzano, I ain't seen you in a while, bro. You stop being a camp fan? If you want to get involved, man, you can come watch us trade every day. Uh, we jumped out of Walmart trade this morning, man. I think it was up 40%. We held it overnight. Uh, come ask questions. And y'all people that's in IOD squad, y'all ask questions. Y'all can ask questions that we there for. There's no dumb question. Everybody in there, nobody in there don't know shit. Like, everybody in there trying to learn. 
So if you got a question, somebody else going to have it too. So go ahead, just type a question in the general chat or somewhere, man. But yeah, um, you can click the link. The link is in the comment section, pinned at the top. Or just text us seven eight six four five nine four nine nine like somebody just did. Um, let's see. I got a question for Brandon. Um, Brandon Tooks, the question you asked is Ryan Williams, is he the quarterback coach up in, in, in he's in Georgia, right, Street? I'm thinking like a GA. I don't think he's a quarterback coach. Uh, I think he yeah, I, I don't I know. Think gotta... Let me see. Because um that was in the building section. Let me see. Oh, uh, let's see. No, Brandon Brandon had just asked Brandon just asked about him, right? But I was just like, What it depends, what does he do? Like if he was a QB's coach, heck yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he does anything. He the player connection coordinator. What the hell is that? It's a bag man. <laughs> the the bag is the player man. connection coordinator. Huh? <laughs> huh? Gee, NIL, we not I want, that, huh? I want <laughs> that to be my title with, with football real style hiring. I want that to be my title. <laughs> they say he was tied to a couple kids from down here going up there to Georgia, though. Mm. Player connection yeah. coordinator. Hmm. Yeah, you know Mario like that, so he might have a job for a basketball after all. The player connection coordinator. The bag man, I like that. PCC. Feel like he got a card. He just walk up to the kid's house. I'm Ryan Williams, PCC. He just write that check. Anthony Mazzano say, hey, Street, with Damian, with Daniel Harris decommitting from Georgia, does that move him above Damari Brown right below McClain as the top boy for the corners? Hey. What, he must be rated higher than Damari Brown? I think Miami likes Damari Brown for numerous reasons. Um, we got a big time game this weekend, man. Northwestern versus Miami Central. And Bain says <laughs> Northwestern gonna be ready this time. I don't know about that, Bain. Well, that go down Friday. Playoff time now. Uh, what you were just talking about, dog? I think um, let's let's talk about that further, bro. And, and I think I think we can get that going. Uh, what type of some of the stuff that we can help parents with? Like Coach Hayes says, not it's not family. <laughs> you gonna call it? It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not family. We gonna call it the it's not family space. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like uh, a good idea to me. That sounds like a good idea to mom. me. We let say your mama ain't taught you for two weeks. Raise your hand. Hmm. Silence. That don't happen to nobody. Silence. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody, but silence. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that, but that'll be a good space though. We get some of these players and some of their perspectives and the things that they had to go through. Um, you know, they'll tell you, man. Shit. Man. That's what I was saying to Rich the other day when he was, um, you know, uh, thumping his chest about Clemson. <laughs> Just joking. But that's what I was saying about the other day, man. It's, 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 it's when, when a kid is done in a fashion that it's just not like, dang, man, like, what more do you want me to do? Oh, it's just business. Well, then what happened? Like, it, I thought this was family. Oh, no, girl, this is business first all the time. I'm not saying they did anything horribly bad to that young man, but I'm just saying, like, Bro, I'm in here working, and I don't put all my film out there. You see me. All right, man, come on, man. I, you know, and I'm not saying they made the wrong decision or the right decision. They, they obviously, they made the right decision for their business. But right. that family stuff, you got to throw that shit out the door. Yeah, that ain't family. It ain't family. Um, a few things we're hearing, man. Here, Cedric Baxter may be decommitting. Good Lord. 
Yeah, but he might be going to that damn team that just ran them damn counters on us for 687 yards. Maybe Florida State? Jesus, boy, I hope not. I think that's, that's – mm. If I was a betting man, I'd say, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know anything. Um, I think this is the weird part. Everybody kept saying this. Miami losing. Miami losing. Is the losses going to hurt recruiting, right? And I said, no, nah, recruiting is about selling. You know what I'm saying? Recruiting is about selling and hustling and all that stuff. Um. What could hurt recruiting <laughs> is what's actually happening at Miami. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the actual turmoil and 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 the and the, and the digging up the weeds and, and and weeding people out and trying to get the right guys in there. And 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 to the kids there, they like, man, don't come to this shit, man. This shit fucked up, but it's messed up because it's in the middle of a rebuild. Mm. Right. Kids talking to other kids could hurt. Yeah. But I but street, yeah. that's what I was saying. I, I said that man, you 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 start to when people was talking about giving up on the kids or giving up on the season, just, I was like, You cannot do that, bro, because you sour a whole bunch of people, bro. And you got these kids that's about to come in. What they're gonna think about this culture. You can't just lay it all up on, oh, all these guys don't want to be here. Bro, some of these guys are going to be here when these kids get here. And if all they got is bad things to say, <laughs> if, if, right. if, if they're going to say my coaches quit on me, like, bro, what? <laughs> come on, man. So, no, we can't go into we, – we couldn't go into it saying they're giving up on the kids and yada, yada, yada. That's why I always say there's a balance. There's a way you do this rebuild. So, I mm. – What about uh, – well, you have some kids that's thriving in it. Can we name some other other than Camp Kitchens? Who else thriving in it that been here already? Hmm. I mean, for what? <laughs> give me some he, names. Give me some names for in what the he section. does. For what he does, like flag. Flag should be the biggest promoter of oh. this coaching staff. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. He, he should be a huge promoter of this coaching staff. Um, that's a good one. James, James is uh, doing okay. Yeah, uh, Mesador. Um, just got here, right? But the, well, everybody does. The staff just got here, so he knows what he saw. But at the same time, Street. Now, some of these kids are just I'm a good player, and I'm gonna be a good player wherever I go. To be honest with you, and so they may be thriving on the field, but they may have a problem with the culture or issue with the culture. Or, you know, who knows? I, I'm not saying I, you know, I'm not saying that that's the case. But there's right. a fine line you have to walk here. Uh, I bet you in the comment section they done came up with thirty names. Oh, they did. They got Re. Uh, Chris got Re. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Jackson definitely. Tariq. Jackson. Re. Well, Jackson Wesley. Just came, Wesley just got here. I'm talking about the players that are here that are having to experience mm-hmm. change. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Y'all hear that yeah, guy? No yeah, the ones, no, no new guys. No transfers. No freshmen. The one that's the one that's trying to pivot. Not the freshmen. All the freshmen know is Mario Way. They came in drinking the turpentine. They're like, God damn, what? The best turpentine I ever taste. Now, <laughs> they're, that's all they know. You got the Hershey kiss. You got the Hershey chocolate milk kids. Many kids. <laughs> like, what is she nasty, boy? God damn, boy. Now, now they gotta eat their. They gotta eat their vegetables. <laughs> they ain't used to have to eat their vegetables before. Now you gotta eat. Them. Right, right. Bargalis. Yep. Shout out. He kicking better. Harrison Hunt. Blades, Harvey, LT. Damn, LT was right in my face when I couldn't come up with that one. LT. DJ Ivy. That's a that's a that's a tricky one. That's a slippery. That's a slippery slope. That's a tricky one. The good one, boy. Huh? That's a slippery one. Flag should be, and flag was the main one yelling 
Manny, don't hell no, please don't go, right? And he, <laughs> and he, he done benefited more than anybody. Flag was the man who went like, <laughs> you told Hoppo to beat me. Flag was the main one going off about many. Nah, man, I don't like how y'all be talking about my coach, man. Y'all don't fuck shit, dog. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Flag was going off last year. Uh-uh. He a good guy. We blood and we sweat together, man. Flag done benefited the most mm-hmm. more Charlie Strong. Mm-hmm. And when I, I said that last year, I was like, because right, people was going in on Flag, and I said, man, y'all got to understand, he don't know no better, bro. He, it's all he knows. He don't know no better, bro. He he never been coached like you know at this level. He never been coached right at this level. I'm sure he got great right. coaching in high school, but this level he never been coached right. So he don't know. Yeah, dog. I mean, I, I feel it, and it's it's a tough it's a, it's it's tough on both ends. Mario in and the kids in. Um, it's it's tough because I've been told, man, Mario really care about the kids. Though I've told that too many parents. Like, hey, man, he did X Y Z. He didn't have to do that. I've been told that by too many parents. Um, I've been told Mario actually crying as kids get hurt. So I think I, he cares. You know what I'm saying? He cares about the kid. But just think about this, dog. Like, you you get recruited. Somebody kisses your ass for two years. You finally decide to go to the school. You get there for two years, and then they go. Just, 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 just think about that, dog. And new, a new, a new, a new regime come in. Everything changing, offense changing, defense changing. This ain't what you got recruited to do. <laughs> to do. You don't know if they like you. You don't know if they bringing nobody with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if they bringing somebody with them. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough transition, though. It is. It's, it's a tough transition. Uh, but we, we don't, we don't really get too deep into it and look at it like that. So think of you 19, 20, you sitting there and you like, man, this ain't what I signed up for. I guess your first, first thought would be to go follow your coach. Man, I'm going to follow <laughs> the mother who recruited me. And for some kids, that's going to be the thing to do. Like, I'm not going to be mad if, if TVD or Garcia say, well, I'm going to SMU because it fits them better. You know what I'm saying? For some right. some kids, it may be the thing to do. So, like Irvin Hall going to wherever he would uh, – Bando or whatever. Made all the sense in the world. Right. Right. Ivy has been Ivy since he got here. Hey, y'all, y'all oh stop that, man. I'm gonna oh I'm take up. I'm gonna take up for uh, Jay White's son, man. I'm I'm very impressed with Ivy. Um, I've never once sipped the Kool Aid. I still won't. I'm just gonna give him his props and say he 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 progressed. He played well, and um, he made himself a life on Sundays, man. I, I don't. I'm not. I'll argue Ooh. anybody with that. Uh, I think he's he's made himself a life on Sundays, bro. You think so? Yes, I do. I was getting drafted. Well, oh, um, you think he's gonna get drafted or be a walk on? No, I think he's gonna get drafted. I think we kind of fell out the favor of the draft after of the NFL draft, though. I think we was in no, favor he, for a he, long time. We were, but I think he's going to get drafted. That combination that he has, um, Ivy does have hips. Ivy does have size. He's got adequate enough speed, and he put on some decent tape this year. Somebody's going to pick him up as a project and work with him. Now, it may be sixth round or whatever, but, hey, it is what it is. Carlos Wilkinson say Ivy is a practice squad player at best. Like, that ain't every kid dream. <laughs> like that ain't every kid dream, Carlos. They call me right Short now. Hands. Who taking their current job? Squad. I'm going. Exactly. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Show hands. Who taking the practice squad and who taking their current job right now? Who's standing their current <laughs> job? <laughs> every kid dream, dog. So you think he gets hey. drafted? Yeah, somebody's gonna draft Ivy. My, my. He made some plays mm-hmm. this year? 
Yeah, he just made one against Florida State. That interception was nice, though. Mm -hmm. That interception was nice. Mm -hmm. He's done some nice things. He's got he had some um he had some impressive um tackles uh this year earlier in the season. Um he's done some nice things. He has some good coverage on film, whatever. But again, y'all gotta understand how the draft works, bro. They look at and they look at your measurables and that's what they fall in love with. Think about it. Dog Rambo come here and break all kind of records. His measurables was just not enough. And I remember right. being in the group and everybody was like, man, he's going to be a first round. I was like, no. I said maybe somewhat third to fifth, but first, I was like, no. Nah. They were like, watch, watch, watch. Going. This boy ain't even get drafted. He thought he was going first round. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, bro. Measurables, bro. That's what they – and like I said, it wasn't about him. Nothing to do with him because um, you can't project how somebody's going to play at the next level. But you just have to understand what the draft is. If he would hit that combine and ran like a uh, 443, 442, they'd be like, oh, okay, we got something here. He still would have went first round, but he would have got drafted. Right. Damn. People thought he was going first round. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see something. Bro, like I keep saying, y'all have to understand how to draft first, bro. Y'all like Bubba didn't get drafted. I, that was a surprise to all of us, but at the same time, wasn't it really? Bubba didn't have the measurables either. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how the draft works. That's what y'all got to look at first. It's funny we talking about this today because we rarely ever talk about Rambo. But guess what Rambo went today? Where? First round. First round, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> to the motherfucking Guardians. Grambo went first round in the XFL two-day, dog. Uh -huh. So somebody was right. right. Somebody got it right. Y'all right. Watch him, Maurice Alexander, <laughs> about that piece. Watch this. Mm -hmm. I think, I think what's the name over there, too? Bandy. Bandy somewhere over there. That boy went first round. He proved somebody right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fourth pick. Hey, Marvin, right you there. saying Bubba? Marvin saying Bubba Bolden is like six three and fast, but Bubba ain't as fast as you think he is because that clock would have told that clock told you that, <laughs> and that's what it's about, bro. He ran. He's slowly. fast on that field, maybe. Yeah, he's faster on that yeah. field, maybe. But bro, y'all, I keep. I say this year after year, bro. Y'all have to understand the draft before y'all start talking about uh, the players and stuff. It's not about the players all the time, bro. It's the way those draft guys think, man. If you could run fast, yeah, sometimes that'll get you drafted. We don't see that many times. The Marcus Van Dyke. Many. Yeah, exactly. Third round for DVD? Nothing against DVD, but his tape won third round. But that speed was. Right. Now, I don't necessarily think Bubba was overrated. Um, yeah, this, 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 y'all got to remember, put this in perspective. We failed a lot of kids. It's hard to name more than three or four kids that played for Manny for two years or more and got better. Most of them regressed. A lot of them had that one year. And then after that, it was just all downhill. So most of the guys would peak the first time they started playing for Manny. And I'm not blaming it all on Manny. Could just be the schematics, could be the position coaches, whatever. But y'all saw player after player regress under Manny, bro. Right. Coach Hayes said, Mario said, come get your kids. But I thought it was family. Yeah, Mario liked the uncle. He had the kids all weekend, dog. Come get your jit. <laughs> had your kid, had your kids since spring. Come get your jit, dog. 
If y'all just walk in here, man, a lot, lot, lot went on today. Charles and Rambo went first round to the Guardians in the XFL. Um, Gilbert Fires to jump in the portal. Deshaun Watson back at the Cleveland Browns after being suspended for 11 games. Lawrence Casey with caught a touchdown since somebody just was saying Lawrence Casey in the league. Um, Lawrence Casey caught a touchdown. Dad Franklin walked off practice yesterday. Uh, spoke to his people. Um, they kind of denied transfer portal talk. Uh, am I missing something, dog? It seems like I'm missing something, dog. Mario said, come get your jits if you want to get on Twitter and talk trash. And right after that, Lil Bo got on Twitter and went ham on Kevin Smith. Said all type of personal stuff. Let me get forensic. Let me, let me see some private investigator or something. Um, before we got here, man, I guess, Kyle, man, my only thing is this, bro. When we're talking about it's going to be a mass exodus and it's going to be a lot of kids coming through, which I'm, I've, I've, I've gotten to the, I've came to the conclusion that there are going to be a lot of kids leave, 15, 20 kids. There will be a lot of kids leave. I came to that conclusion. Some of them, some of them might be kids that we want to stay. And I think that's just going to be a part of college football going forward. Kids testing the portal, testing NIL, um, but when we talk about these kids leaving and these kids going, y'all don't ever think about how do you get a kid to leave? Would you keep changing his locker? <laughs> Would you keep hiding his helmet? Y'all don't think about how do you get him to leave? You sit down and you have a big man, grown conversation, grown man conversation with him? That's the that's the only way you should be doing it. You, you tell him, sit his ass down and tell him. That's it. Like I'm not running nobody off. That's the problem I would have. If, if that's happening, I have a huge problem with that. That's not a coach I want to be a part of. And from what we know about Cristobal, I think he's man enough to sit these kids down and just let them know. I'm hoping that's what it is. But I think the kids deal with their position coaches more than they deal with Cristobal. You feel yeah, that's me? true. That's mm -hmm. true. So how do you – so, like I said, when, when it comes to decommitting, a lot of time these kids decommit because coaches stop taking their calls and they stop calling them. Um, we've heard coaches – we've heard kids be in programs and say, um, coach, coach, stop talking to me. Coach, stop coaching me. They don't talk. Like, why, 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 why do they take that route? Coach A's, you coached, you coached in college before. Like, why do they take that route instead of sitting down and saying they don't want to be the one to say, hey, man, he asked me to leave? You you, you can't be a – Make the stove so hot you, that you just got to get off you, it. See, and you can't be a leader of men if you can't be a man yourself. That's what I have a huge problem with. But you're right, Street. You know, everybody's human, and human have, humans act differently. So you're right. You have some position coaches that may be punks like that, and they may be doing all kind of underhanded stuff, or just not talking. The fuck, you just ignore a kid. Bro. That's that's crazy. I don't. I don't <laughs> coach Hayes, you and your coach Hayes, you ever ignore the kid? Well, any 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 football coaches in here, man? Where my coaches at, man? Like, is it just you, you, you can do that to a face? you can do that to a kid that's acting up. You know what I'm saying? If a kid want to act ass and all that kind of stuff, yeah, you do that because he deserved that type of treatment. But a kid just not playing up to par, even if he's not practicing as hard as you want to or whatever, just, no, nah, that's just not something you do, bro. Right. I don't know. Some of this coach aspect stuff, man, we need to, it's a dude named Coach Mike. I got to see if I can get him to come on one day, man. He's a, he's, he's really good for like explaining all this type of stuff. He's really calm voice. The same way, like we may be confused about something Gaddis does. And then you ask Gaddis and he gives you an answer that you didn't think of. That's how Coach Mike uh -huh. is. I got to see if we can get him on here one day. he give you those coaches perspectives and all those type of things. Let's get him on here, dog. Let's get him on here. 
double take. Hmm. Is Henry Parrish an NFL player? Huh, Cal? Let me see. Cal, well, yeah, you left me. What you uh, no, nah, I heard you. What, you what, what did you say? I'm sorry. Henry Paris um, posted on Instagram. I got to take the risk if I really want to take care of my put up the piece. Oh, Lord. You think Henry Paris is an uh, NFL player? Mm, yeah, somebody going to invite him to camp at this point, maybe. Or maybe like late round, like Warren Sapp say it. Who, you know, who strives to – man, who, who's – who? he's not – yeah, that's the thing. His size – is going to limit his opportunity. So he needs to maximize the opportunity that he has in college. Put up as much tape as you can, especially coming off being injured, bro. You got to show that you're durable. Mm -hmm. Oh, Henry Parrish? Yeah, you hurt right now. You talking about, come on, bro. You already a small, a smaller back. You talking about you going into the draft? Coming off of an injury, I hope that's not what he's thinking. No, he need to put up as much tape as he can. It's gonna be the same thing well, with Rooster. Those two guys well, gotta put up as much tape as they can. Well, he didn't say that, so we can't say that he said. No, that. I'm just no, no, no. I'm just I'm just saying, just in advance. You know what I'm saying? Like, just in advance. That's the type of guy that needs to maybe play all four years. It's not his fault. It's just that his his stature is not what I they're looking for. I, I got right. That's what Alonzo was saying about Rooster. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you gotta put on a little weight or or or, or be slotty. Um, I gotta take the risk if I really want to take care of mine. And the first comment is old Keyshawn Smith. There you go. You're looking for five. And we got a lot to talk about in the football villain section, dog. Yes, sir, we do. What did K-5 say? Or did he just like it? He just liked it. He was the first. Um, we got a lot to talk about, dog. We got a lot to yeah, talk bro. about, man. Last night, Medi and Twan, was, they, was in the, they were still in the Discord at 4 o'clock in the morning. I was trying to hang oh, with nah, man. I the lights went off, and they going to transform a blow. Oh, no, nah, I couldn't do that. I, I had just got off of work, so, you know, I had been working from – Morning and night, so it's like two o'clock in the morning. I had to just like let me slide on about it, right? Hey, see, that's hey, that's see. another reason y'all need to join in, man. Nope, who, who, who get to hear from Twan? That's the only way you get to hear from Twan is through the Discord. <laughs> uh, y'all didn't even know what the voice sound like, huh? So I was in there talking last night. Coach A say small running back injury, possible off the field issues, deck stacked against him. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't know. I didn't know if he was big enough. I mean, but mm -hmm. so hit the like button for us, man. Let's see where we at with the likes, man. We about to get ready to get up out of here. Seven eight six four five nine four nine nine. Y'all want to get down with ILD squad? If you if you we got one on ones now, man. We do it investing. Um, where we sit down and show you what we do. Um. Listen, man, if the market going down, I know y'all keep seeing down, down, market crashing, watching Channel 7. But you make money in the market going up and down. Uh, you make money going up and down in the market. Um, yeah, it's called options. So as the market go up and down, you make money. You can make money in the market doing smaller moves, trading, day trading. Um, there's a lot of ways to make money. There's ways we don't even touch, Cal. There's thousands of different versions of options and all type of crap in the market. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, there's always you can always make money in the market up, down, left, right. It's, it's always going to be there. Yeah. Um. So when they say the market crashing, I mean, yeah, they're talking about your they're talking about your retirement, your four hundred one k. That's what they talking about. Your long term stuff. Well, we finna get another transfer portal kid and. You can't get two in one week, can we? Who else can't out get there? Two in one week, huh? Who else out there? Um, I'm starting to believe anybody who's saying they hurt. <laughs> it's only way out. If you ain't got a brace on your knee, I don't believe you. If you ain't got a brace on your knee, I don't believe you. But one thing I say about Paris is Paris, I've seen being on the sideline, Paris. I've seen Paris get dizzy in every game. Every game, I've seen him get dizzy. Uh, I don't know if it's because he run hard. I don't know if it was the heat when he first got here. Um, I'm not sure, man. But let's get up out of here, Kyle. All right, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Listen, dog. 786-405-9499. If y'all want to get down with the squad, hit me up. Or send a text and say ILD squad 101 or whatever, man. A lot going on down at Green Tree. A lot going on in sports. Deshaun Watson back in action. Fam, you just got the brakes beat off on by the Hurricane basketball team. If you want to become a villain, man, hit the join button right there. Um, become a villain. Um, and support what we're doing. Support what we're doing. Um, D, don't put off tomorrow something you could do today. The rest of your life could be seconds away. I'm out of here.